Hello, welcome to Thrive Online. Today we're going to talk about Anjane Asana or Crescent Lunge. This is a really great strengthening pose that will really help to also work on your balance as well as flexibility in the hips. You'll see this pose oftentimes in a nice, uh, a big power class, flow class, vinyasa class, even a hatha class. It's a really great pose. So what we're going to do is we're going to get started with the right foot in front. It's very similar to Warrior II, Virabhadrasana II, but there's one big difference. The heel is off of the mat in Anjane Asana. So in Warrior I, we've got our heel down, toes pointing towards the outside corner of the edge. In Anjane Asana, we've got our heels up. So that right knee is bent, right leg is working towards a 90, to that flat surface where you could put a cup of coffee. But what tends to happen, and I'm going to see if maybe you can see it better on this side, is when you take a super long stance, it can make you dump into the low back instead of keeping the integrity of the pose. So here I am on the left. So here's a super long stance. What's happening? My tailbone's shooting back, and there's like a back bend happening. There's no engagement here in the low belly, which means danger zone for the low back. So let's do this again and come from a safe place. Right foot forward, left toes planted on the mat, left heels up. Left leg is working towards straight, right knee is working towards being a 90 degree angle. You'll notice that I can't quite do it yet because I don't have the hip flexor mobility enough to keep the tailbone down, low belly in. So we're working on building strength in the right thigh, right glute, and openness in the hip flexor. The hips are reaching forward, the shoulders and the chest are reaching forward. Your hands can be here at heart center, down and below behind you if you're starting to get tired, or reaching up high, pinkies rotating towards each other. You can also bring your palms together in a nice namaskara. So hands up, pinkies rotating in, your hands at your heart center, or your hands down below, behind your back. Let me show you from the other side. Left leg forward, right leg back, right heel is up, Hips are squaring off, so that right hip's forward, left hip is back, left knee is bent, tailbone's down, belly is in, chest is proud. So there's a straight line in the front of your body, and there's a straight line in the back of your body. Hands are up, pinkies rotating towards each other, hands at heart center, hands around and behind you, or you can have your hands touching overhead in your namaskara. Again, you can look up if that's okay with the neck. I tend to just look up the top, like at my third eye, in between my eyebrows, because it, I don't like to be creaky in my neck. Looking up like that creaks the neck. For me, it does at least. You see some people doing it, and I don't think that's an awesome habit to do, especially long term. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun. Maybe learned something new about Anjane Asana, Crescent Lunge. I look forward to seeing you in the studio again very soon or to see you inside the Thrive Online community. Take care. Go in peace. Namaste.